What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another live stream with me, Gia, and Experience Philippines. Um, today, we have a very special guest, and it's kind of interesting, especially if you're in the travel field. Uh, ito yung magandang topic na pag-usapan kasi lahat naman ng tao gusto nilang maganda ang kanilang skin. So ang ating, ating, uh, ating kasama tonight, ay today, tonight tuloy, kasi ang kasama today, the Sunday, is no other than one of our good friends who's, uh, who's been during the quarantine. I think, I think that's a very good, um, I can say, uh, issue that happened. No? Madami nagkaroon since we've been wearing masks for quite a while. Uh, nagkakaroon sa nagkakaroon po tayo ng mga um, acne. So, and I think that was one of the biggest, uh, especially also stress. I know many things are related to that. So, si Doc Mike, <laughs> si Doc, pinakilala ko na agad. No? Pero this, hindi <laughs> pa, di ba? So, pinakilala ko. So, this, this, this doctor is a good friend of ours. And so, kinausap siya. Tinanong ko sa anya kung pwede siya mag, mag, you know, mag, mag-guess uh, live stream and talk about um, really skincare. Um, not just because of the, the topic is really about Korean, uh, how to get Korean skin, but really about generally how to take care of our skin and um, you know achieve that flawless look for, not just for the vanity sake, which is part of it, but more for really for self-confidence. Right? So, and of course, who doesn't like to have like good skin. So, sa, may kita nyo sa kanya, pag nakita nyo yung picture, nakita nyo siya mamaya, kasi yun talaga, oh nga, maganda nga talaga skin ni Doc. <laughs> Without further ado, I'd like to see you to my good friend, Dr. Mike D of the DND Skin Sciences. Hi, Doc! Hi, guys! Hello! Oh, di ba? Di ba naman niya? Tignan mo naman, guys. So, tignan niyo naman. <laughs> Ano ba? Okay ba? Oh, wala 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 talaga. Wala talaga sinabi mga balat namin. <laughs> so doc, kamusta doc? How was your Sunday? Well, my Sunday just started. Aba, ano book niyo doc? Ah? Parang hindi na taka niya hindi na tinatali ko na siya. Hindi kaya hindi na kaya ata nagpagupit ah. No more na kasi alam mo na tapat pa rin ako lumabas eh. The cases are actually increasing, so you guys better just you know if you don't need to go out, just stay at home. Actually, I don't see I don't see any more. Ano nga, I don't see any more like news about the uh, how many cases. And like last time, there's so many. Like, every day, there are people posting about the increase in cases. But now, I don't see that as often. Well. Yeah. So there. Um. Just wait for the vaccine, na lang to roll out in greater population. I think that's safer. Because I think I don't know. The last time I read about it. Um, we still don't know if uh, we still don't know if you can actually transmit it if you were vaccinated. Although it's proven that it will diminish your chances of exhibiting like um, severe symptoms. However, you might probably be able to still uh, transmit it to someone. So, kawawa naman if ever you transmit it to someone that's, uh, that's you know, high risk, like obese, medyo old, like may mga comorbidities like diabetes, etc., asthma. Yun nga, yun nga yung, ano, yun nga yung um, isa sa mga naging uh, pinag-uusapan namin the other day uh, with one of our mentors in idea space. And then, sabi nga, sinapag-uusapan nga namin, at kasi with, normally now, you see a lot of people advertising um like you can travel here you can travel there you know it's stuff. Yeah. And, then, and they're asking it how about us in experience philippines are we going to do that and then have we go maybe not on that uh i think uh it's still it's very risky in my opinion because you don't you don't know um like if you have a you have a senior citizen at home even though ikaw hindi ka nagkasakit pero pag na Hawaii senior citizen na yun, kawaw naman, di ba? At the, end, at the end of the day. So, you have to yeah. be very prudent and very, uh, you have to consider it. Kaya, lang, kaya, kaya we're doing this live stream. <laughs> How about, tsaka virtual live tour. <laughs> so, hanggang virtual yeah. live tour sa lang kami. <laughs> so, Doc, sige. I, th- I think, ano, I think, uh, may dami kang fans club. Wow. Wala <laughs> kang madami na kaaba, madami akong friends na kaaba. <laughs> na gusto ko ma Sabi nila dog skin is heart. <laughs> uh, thank you. Wala talaga. 
Wala talaga, wala talaga. Parang feeling mo pag tumabig ka kay Doc talaga, parang gusto mo rin talaga mag ganyan, ganyan, ganyan skin. <laughs> so Doc, okay, anyway, actually the the topic that I really create, we created for you is not really about really to be, to be honest, hindi naman talaga siya how to get that Korean glass skin um, per se, but more of how to achieve that. And then what are the, especially now we're in the travel industry and we're in the travel field and a lot of people are having like yung mga problema sa, yun nga, sa mask, Diba? Lagi sila nakamask. Tapos, I think also, um, di ko alam kung related, pero stress. <laughs> Nakakaroon ka na acne dahil sa stress, sa anxiety. Um, yun, so may mga daming factors na people are trying to look for ways and means to, you know, to uh, maybe you can give them advice on how how it works, how to, you know, I don't know. Ako, wala nang alam. Kaya, kaya, kaya nandito ka. <laughs> Thank you so much. So how do like do I start? Then? Yes, you talk. What can you, what do you wanna talk about and share? Uh, so I'll just you know talk about like skincare, general skincare. Because I'll just talk about things that I've been seeing like a lot, like sobrang dami ko nakita usually na mga acne like eruptions on the lower half of the face. So yun mga they would look like pimple like um eruptions on the lower half of the face. So yun mask me hormonal acne and periorificial dermatitis. So, yun, yun yung tatlo na na-notice ko na nag increase in incidence. Mask me, hormonal acne, and periorificial, periorificial dermatitis. Nalalim ng terms. So, yeah. So, yung mask me lang naman, yung mask me, it's, it's mechanical, acne mechanical yung tawag namin sa kanya. So, hindi naman lahat nagkaka-acne, right? So it only happens in patients who have predilection to form acne. So if you have like acne or acne prone skin and then um, you don't usually have acne so probably your skincare is working but it can be triggered by the mask or any form of occlusion so face mask. Um, so those people who are not acne prone will not be triggered. So, usually, mechanical acne or mask me coexists with other forms of acne like acne vulgaris or your common acne and your hormonal acne. So, the hormonal acne can also be triggered by your mask me or your your acne mechanica. So, hormonal acne naman usually appears. This happens usually in females, yung mga reproductive age ng during their reproductive age. So they're usually concentrated in the lower half of their face. And they're quite severe or cystic. So usually around the jawline, you know, around the chin area, around the mouth, sometimes under the chin and under the jaw. You would have also patients sometimes exhibiting acne dito sa my neck area, sa sides, sa chest, and sa back. So uh, if you have a mask kasi, it causes like friction over that area and we call there's there's what we call a um, friction dermatitis so the friction if merong nakarub sa face mo parate or nakaklose sa, sa face mo parate the mechanical forces actually um, destroy your skin barrier and that would cause inflammation so if my inflammation na sa face mo that can trigger acne right so usually cases yan doc pag sa medical mga medical professionals no kasi lagi sila more most of the time they spend a lot of time na naka mask yes especially now kasi before talaga like we only wear masks talaga like every 2 every 4 hours ganun pwede namin tanggalin but right now a lot of my colleagues really are even afraid to take it off right so yeah. They, they just put it on sometimes eight hours and even more if for example doctor ka sometimes you go on duty first for many many hours so nakalagay siya sa face so we're extraordinarily putting like keeping our masks on and that's why nagtitrigger siya more ngayon mas madami siya before kasi parang hindi naman well we regularly take it off like we should but right now, yun, it's just stuck there on our face. Kaya mas marami talagang mga health workers uh, yung affect nato. And then there's another one, periorificial dermatitis. 
So very orf- artificial dermatitis. They're just they look like acne, but they're smaller than acne, and they're usually located around the orifices. That's why or, or the holes of your face, de ba? So you have so ano yung holes ng face mo like the nose, the eyes, and the mouth, de ba? So the most common area is around the mouth. So it's an inflammatory um, skin condition of the face where you have like pimple-like dots or, or bumps around your lips, all right? And sometimes around the nose and sometimes around the eyes also. <coughs> Sorry. And they are usually aggravated by application of uh, steroids. Some, uh, some scientists would suggest that uh, they are caused also by kind of lymphatic and vascular malformation of the face called rosacea. Usually, we would see this in in white in, in patients who have like Chinese blood, like that. No? And also, the, the difference really is between um, acne and very orificial dermatitis is that my comedones, my whiteheads and blackheads, blackheads nakasama si acne, but si per artificial dermatitis wala. And some scientists also suggest that it might be related to an overgrowth of a kind of arachnid. Kasi meron tayong arachnid sa ilang na commensal or or cohabitates with us inside our... Do you say arachnid spider? Or, yeah, it's a relative of the spider. We call it uh, Demodex folliculorum. You can Serious, yeah, no? What? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you might probably have it right now. I mean, me, I might probably have it right now crawling around my hair follicles. So when you're... So it, it doesn't usually cause any harm or anything. Like, it's just there eating the debris or skin and, you know. And then, if you're... Ano kasi? If you're... Uh, immunity goes down. They kind of like overpopulate your uh, your skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean your your hair follicles. And when they overpopulate your hair yeah, follicles, like yeah. So don't try to have an inflammatory reaction. Because your body, because it doesn't like anything that it's not natural there. So so those things, you know. Um. So yun, so yun yung mga nakita ko na increase ng like cases. Mostly in about and generally is it doc mga women or men ang um, cases na pansin. Ah uh, demo well demographically. Well uh for hormonal definitely it's women. It's very unusual to have male patients who have hormonal acne. Um uh, acne uh acne vulgaris also females and yung periorificial dermatitis I've seen more women I don't know I mean well periorificial dermatitis kasi women din talaga may, may, may increased predilection talaga siya for women but any any um, any sex or any age naman um, can be affected but I don't know I mean mas madami lang women nagko-consult <laughs> yeah I guess mean, I guess I guess because yeah, women are more conscious about their about pains, their skin, no. and, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, uh. sa atin naman mga Filipinos, mga guys, they would, you know, like very unlikely for, I don't know, sometimes mga like hindi siguro nila priority on or something. But I'm on, I'm on. yeah, I mean, I have a lot of male patients actually. So and, and I think it's increasing also. Yung population ng men um, taking care of their skin. Uh, which I think is a good sign because um, you know it's for every that everybody like good skin man is for everybody yes I think that's a that should be the general uh, mindset yeah. naman, uh, that you have to take care of your skin in general yeah all right so there great so get Dave to Dave to Dave to Dave Dave Am I allowed to drink coffee? yeah naman go naman ano ba yan dok okay lang meron din ako dito <laughs> Black coffee. Post <laughs> <laughs> <Ako>, ano, <Tara>. coffee. <laughs> so yeah. So you might have Kailan? questions there, no? I don't know. Yeah, see si Mike, he's gonna I said, Yeah, there you go. Ah, so yeah. So this is Angalimana also video, Mike uh, Dave. 
Yeah, you can also remove me. <laughs> right? Yon. So I'm just gonna talk away, okay? Go lang, so go. everybody can see my face also no more. Yung no more na, no more na. No more ah, na. No more na. Perfect. Uh, they can see the the screen lang. Perfect. So if you want to go down to uh, page 3 now. So there. So ito yung picture, di ba? Ito yung picture ng sinasabi ko kanina. It's the mass knee, hormonal acne, and the very orificial dermatitis. Okay? So these are the three um, acne form eruptions that I have been seeing like mostly uh, since the, the start of the pandemic. So I've the team and I like did the online cons. I mean, we are just temporarily on an online platform right now. So we actually see patients for many concerns of the skin. So I usually check patients for acne and acne scarring and also pigmentation. If they have questions regarding lasers and other cosmetic stuff, I see them also for that. And our other board certified dermatologists and board of doctors also see them for other slew of of skin conditions. So if you have pathologic conditions, seborrheic dermatitis, rises, burns, etc., you name it. So we see them at DMD Skin Sciences and we uh, digitally send everything to the patients and then the patients will go either to the pharmacy or work, go to our online pharmacy to get the meds and we send everything to the patients. So we also have like a board certified reproductive endocrinologist, ob and fertility specialist in the team because you know we see a lot of hormonal imbalance patients and hormonal acne and also we have uh, Dr. That's Dr. Uh, doc, that's Dr. Uh, Galito and Dr. John Dimasubil for he's a specialist in he's a he's our um, specialist physician for lifestyle, no, and also nutrition. So. Oh, kasi laki na effect rin, doc, no, pag, I think nutrition is a big plays a big factor in, yeah. in your skincare, no. Yeah, that's correct. I will show you later how it uh, affects. No? So in page two, uh, in page four. Sorry, page four. Next. Uh, so, acne breakouts from wearing... So, mask is just simply acne breakouts, no? Um, happening because of wearing a mask. So, the symptoms would usually be chafing, so parang like a crack in skin, mo, no? Irritation, like redness and stinging. And then there would be pimple-like bumps around covered areas of the masks. And next, so what's the cause? What's the cause of of mass knee. So it's simply just clogged pores. No? So usually oil, bacteria, and dead skin will build up on your skin and then they would block your pores. And then usually the mass would trap the humidity due to your breathing and your sweating, which can increase the risk of acne formation. Because in Filipinos, we have bacteria and fungal elements causing our acne. So they feed on the sebum. And imagine if you have something to say on your face, so it Everything collects there, no? Parang maraming kinakain yung bacteria, maraming kinakain yung mga fungus, and they're the ones that really cause the inflammation. And another possible cause of masni is friction. So the material of the face covering can rub against your skin, and this will lead to what we call friction dermatitis, which appears as chafing and irritation. And usually, the sens- there's sensitivity to material of your face covering, and some masks are actually treated with, with some chemicals like formaldehyde, just to make sure that no uh, fungus uh, grows in them. No? But a lot of patients are actually very sensitive to formaldehyde, so you need to be careful. And similarly, wearing a mask that's been washed in a scented detergent may cause irritation. So... Uh, I don't want to name names, but a lot of detergents are really, really fragrant. Sobrang bango niya, in a sense. Oh, diba ba? Pero ako, ako pwede mag-mention ba? Downy. <laughs> diba? Like, ba- ang bango ng downy sobra. <laughs> so yun, para, parang sobrang fragrant niya. Sometimes masakit siya sa, sa nose. But if something is really fragrant, fragrance kasi is one of the most common um, allergic or contactant in the world. Oh, so, talaga? Yeah, ah. so if you have like perfume, cologne, if you have something with fragrance like air fresheners, 
um, if you like, yung mga scented oils, yung mga essential oils, that di- mga diffusers na babango. So, those things can actually cause uh, fragrances. I mean, uh, contact dermatitis. Some cosmetics also have fragrant fragrances. You just need to be careful, no? So, pag may trinay ka na cosmetics and then na-irritate yung skin mo, nagkaroon ng bumps, redness, after 48 hours, then, tapos nakita mo may fragrance. So, probably think about that. No? Baka allergic ka sa fragrance. Okay? Oh, pwede pala eh. Correct. And then, uh, next, so, how to treat masne? You just wash your face regularly, morning, before going to bed, and after sweating or wearing a mask. And then, you need to f- use fresh cold water from the faucet and from the shower, and you need to gently pat your skin with a clean towel and avoid rubbing your skin as this may cause irritation. So, when I tell my patients how they wash their skin, you need to wash your skin really, really softly like a baby. So, you treat your skin very, very gently like a baby. Do not wash your skin like as if you're washing your hands. So, treat your skin very, very special, no? Your facial skin. Well, I mean, the, the rest of your skin, no? like, lahat naman ng skin mo, kailangan mo siya, it treats specially. So, if you tap your, your, if you dry off your facial skin, kailangan very, very gently lang din. Okay? Kasi if you rub your skin, if you manipulate your skin, you put pressure too much, you do stuff to your skin, kakapal yung skin. And usually skin kasi that are th- quite thick, uh, your the pores will be more accentuated. If you have skin irregularities like scarring or whatever, um, it will be more accentuated, mas obvious siya. And usually, uh, hypertrophic skin or yung makapal na skin is more prone to acne formation. Because remember, imagine mo yung pores mo and around the pores, the skin is thick. So there's a huge surface area that can throw in dead skin cells in that um, pores, diba? So there's greater chance for you for, to plugging the pores. And when your pores are clogged, then there is sebum trapping and everything, you know, the whole cascade of acne formation will just follow, mm-hmm. right? So you need to treat your skin very, very gently like a baby, okay? So there. Next, uh, you, you need to use a gentle moisturizer. You can use the CeraVe moisturizer. You can use the Cetaphil mild moisturizer. There's a lot of really very good uh, moisturizers out there. Papa, papa, per- papakita ko yan. Papakita ko mamaya sa akin. Yung galing kay Doc. <laughs> ah, yeah. The, uh, <laughs> favorite. So that's Mission really Skin. <laughs> yeah, Mission Skin. So we also formulate our, like I formulate uh, our own um, well, kasama namin yung mga uh, chemists and engineers we formulate our own skincare for Filipino skin, right? Because Filipino skin is very unique it's very different um, some of my some of my colleagues would actually say Filipino skin is weird because I think we're just really so multiracial I don't know, diba? I parang, think so kasi parang I think the the halo-halo yung halo-halo yung um uh, dugo natin. So there's no really yeah, like 100% na purely Pinoy. I mean, technically I speaking agree. wala talaga. Yeah, I agree. Even even yung mga like even within like between ethnic groups um I think very different than I mean Filipino ethnic groups I think, I think different din talaga yung mga skin composition natin because of our genes also. I mean, because of the whole history of us interacting with the other races also, right? So, and then... Doc, course, okay lang. Sorry, Doc. Pwede ka may add sa screen, Doc? Okay lang? Yeah, sure. No problem. Sige, para makita na. Oh, sige. Dave, paano naman? No problem. Para makita nila. And then, switch. Yun. De, yung, yung video. Yung, balik tal. Thank you. All right. Okay. So there. Um. So you need to use a uh, mild moisturizer, and then if you have sensitive skin, ask your dermatologist for guidance. So how do you know if you have sensitive skin? If you have acne, then automatically you have sensitive skin. Okay. And then use a pore unclogging solution like BHA or salicylic acid, and I like to use potassium azeloid like glycinate across our skincare because. I think it's very very versatile. It has a lot of benefits, like um, it's moisturizing, skin lightening, 
prevents uh, over secretion of sebum and at the same time it's antifungal and you may next you may use a physical sunscreen containing titanium dioxide or zinc oxide so this one i particularly like this one um president tinted sunscreen you can also use tzo you can also use super goop and uh, the zo tinted sunscreen those are the sunscreens that i really like and you, you, you need to apply very thinly only and uh, these ingredients like titanium dioxide and zinc oxide are, are, are anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial and also sunscreens um, can serve as a friction barrier between the mask and the skin okay and then also use non-comedogenic moisturizers like this one the fresher um, moisturizing cream CeraVe or right, is also okay you can use inky list moisturizers paula's choice i really like also um what else cetaphil i mean it's cetaphil is always a go-to but sometimes cetaphil can be too thick all right so just be careful with the moisturizers of Cetaphil. If you're if you're oil prone and you're going to like a cold area, I like to use the Cetaphil day long. Um, I know the Cetaphil oil control. Sorry, because it has SPF na din. And you need to take a break from makeup, okay? Because makeup can uh, plug your pores. Next one. So to prevent uh, mask me, uh, you need to wash fabric masks after every use and never use a cloth mask without first washing it and use unscented hypoallergenic laundry detergent to rinse and, and then rinse then let let it dry completely so what i tell my patients if kaya if kaya you can use white ivory or you can use uh dove uh dove to wash your face masks okay just to be safe or you can use cycles, kaya ng super mahal ng cycles, right? And then you dispose non-reusable masks after each use. And you need to remove your mask every four hours. And when you remove it, keep it keep it off for 15 minutes. And then this will help your skin uh, take a break. No? And then you need to wash your hands before taking a mask break. And then uh, remove the mask only when you are able to practice physical distancing okay next uh so choose the right mask so during the pandemic uh, so i'm also into manufacturing because i like to invent things um so you know like i told you i i'm into manufacturing our own skincare also and during the pandemic we were able to set up a new <coughs> factory for medical masks so that's the rouge masks so the rouge mask if you're really looking for something that you want to rely on like it's it's um uh, international it complies with international standard as early as may we were already exporting to europe uh mexico i forgot the other countries no? like spain germany etc so as early as may of 2020 uh 2020 we were already exporting and <clears throat> The rouge mask is compliant with international standards and it's it will tell you if it's a type 1, type 2, and type 2 R. Okay? Because international standards would actually ask that from the mask manufacturers. You need to specify if it's type 1, type 2, type 2 R. And we are very stringent. No? Um, and you would notice you I don't know if there's a company that does that here. So it's it's 100% made in the Philippines. Um, sariling atin siya that we can really be proud of. So if you're looking for something that you can rely on, because we did, we did a study, we took out masks from online shops and also from major uh, pharmacies and other pharmacies. Some that said 99% PFE just gave uh, 1 to 3% PFE. Mas maganda pa na gloss mask na lang kayo, right? So there are sources there that are very unreliable in mga masks. So just be very, very careful, guys, uh, because you need the mask to protect others, diba? And also protect you. Uh, they can offer some barrier also for yourself. So there, um, you need to wear a face mask that fits snugly, but not too tight. 
and at the same time has three or more layers of fabric and it's made of natural uh, natural soft fabric like cotton this is for the cloth mask okay and then avoid masks that, that are made of synthetic fabrics such as nylon or rayon because these things um, can actually um, cause more occlusion or can exacerbate mask need and yeah like you know, it can irritate the skin no? so the last time i i read the yung pinakamagandang material with the highest pfe is uh silk okay i think 46 or something 47 or 48 percent pfe yung mga silk fabric so you might want to use that if you're thinking of a cloth mask okay right next so yun, in summary, you need to wash your face after wearing a mask and once you're back at home, you need to wash your face with a gentle cleanser, follow it with a mild moisturizer over the dry, the dry skin and you need to wash your face especially after sweating and after wearing a mask. So next one is polycystic ovarian syndrome. So very common. So it's an endocrinologic uh, disorder in women. So next. So, PCOS is an endocrinologic disorder in women and may present with metabolic, dermatological, reproductive, and even psychological manifestation. No? So, women throughout their adolescence uh, or, or to menopausal or just before menopausal are usually affected. And uh, it's caused by an excess circulation of androgens or male hormones that cause uh, the skin manifestations. Next. So usually, uh, people would ask me how often do I see acne patients with PCOS. So among women, <clears throat> among my patients so who are ages 19 to 45 years old, around 20 to 40 percent of them have PCOS. However, right now I would say it's around 70 percent, no, 60 to 70 percent. So very fast the percentage that I'm seeing women with possible hormonal imbalance, no. So most women with PCOS present with facial acne and up to 50% would have involvement in other parts of their body like the neck, the chest, and the upper back. And 20 to 60% familial occurrence of PCOS in first degree patients. So if kang, if your mom before or if your sister has PCOS or has had PCOS, must increase your chance of having polycystic ovarian syndrome. Next one. So what are the are there certain patterns, symptoms, or visual cues which indicate that the patient is suffering from PCOS? So women who have PCOS can manifest signs and symptoms of hyperandrogenism or tumataas yung androgens nila, menstrual dysfunction, and polycystic ovaries. So yung mga skin manifestation next, yeah, yung sinabi ko earlier, yung acne that is distributed, severe cystic acne, postular acne, distributed around the lower half of the face, um, usually around the jawline, under the jawline, around the chin area, under the chin, around the mouth, and also sometimes the neck would be involved also. Next one, you would they would also present with uh, severe oiliness or seborrhea. Next, some patients would develop hirsutism or increased uh, male pattern of facial hair. But I rarely see this in patients who have hormonal acne in, in the Philippines. No? But there are some. Next one, thinning of the hair or alopecia or female pattern hair loss. Next one, acanthosis nigricans, if, lalo na if patients are on the heavier side. So you see this very velvety um, hyperpigmented plaques no, on flexural areas like the neck, the underarm, under the breast sometimes. Um, so, meron din sometimes so may sing it in between the in between the thighs, sometimes the buttocks. No? Sometimes the face, lalo na sa mga sometimes, para may, 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 may darkening sa face. So, hindi siya actually pigmentation. Sometimes it could be acanthosis nigricans pala. No? Next one. So, acne can can only acne can be the only skin manifestation in 50% of women with polycystic ovaries. Sometimes I ask them to be evaluated. So, yun na, acne lang, wala silang wala silang wala silang menstrual irregularities, wala din silang like ever history 
na nagpa-check sila sa OB. But I tell them, oh, your acne looks like hormonal pattern. I think you should check if you have pickles or not. And they turn out to have uh, polycystic ovaries. So sometimes we, we catch polycystic ovaries or hormonal imbalance early in the process, which is really good kasi it can progress to more serious metabolic implications or, or, or consequences if hindi mo alam na may picos ka pala and it goes untreated. Okay? So next one. So what are the certain ways to treat and manage acne in patients with picos? Of course, lifestyle modification. Sinasabi ni Gian kanina about the diet and exercise. No? So lifestyle modification is extremely important in picos. So dietary restriction, exercise, and weight loss. So as much as you know, as little as 5% loss of uh, total body weight reduces insulin resistance and your androgens. This leads to improvement in inflammation and acne. And in my experience, if you have polycystic ovaries or hormonal imbalance, if you're a bit of uh, on the heavier side, in my experience, the treatment would not be as, you won't respond to the treatment as much as a person who is in their normal BMI would. And the results are, are better if you were in your normal BMI. And I see that for my patients who are a little bit, who have a little bit of more mass, during the course or during the treatment process, if they really lose weight and they uh, really improve their lifestyle, I could see a really nice improvement in their skin also. And they tell me that they just generally feel well, etc. No? So lifestyle is really important in because and hormonal imbalance. Okay? But next, um, but I usually give or start my patients on oral medications like isotretinoin and oral contraceptives because in my experience, Patients who have polycystic ovaries or hormonal imbalance, they have a very resistant acne to just topicals only. I have very few patients who insist on topicals and they respond naman. But they are actually just exemptions rather than the rule. So I would tell the patients I will start you with oral medications because it's just my experience and hindi talaga siya na they respond with just topicals. Okay? And also because like I told you, um, hormonal acne or acne that is induced by PCOS are usually severe. And severe acne, if it stays long on your face, it will cause more chance of acne scarring. And acne scarring is very, very difficult. It's very costly to treat. So as much as possible, I offer the patient a chance for cure and establish a possible cure as soon as possible. And Right now, the only thing that can give you 80% chance of cure is um, isotretinoin. No? So, we actually have that in our program. And also, next, uh, the oral contraceptive pills uh, is used also to just regulate the imbalance of hormones in women. So, you have a lot like Diane, Althea, you have Yas, everything. Next, um, also, in my opinion, treatment of PCOS should not be delayed because uh, there's a lot of patients asking me, Doc, acne lang muna i-cheat ko, Doc. Hindi na muna ako magpapacheck whatever. Kasi acne yung priority ko. Kasi PCOS can involve different organ systems, right? And also PCOS may lead to menstrual and infertility issues. It can also lead to endometrial growth, like endometriosis, etc. And sometimes it can also cause cancer development. So you need your OB or your reproductive endocrinologist to uh, monitor you regularly. Okay? And then in PCOS, there's dysregulation. Next one. In PCOS, because there's dysregulation of hormones and chemicals in your body. So leading to hyperandrogenism, diabetes, obesity, hypertension, and increase in cholesterol, no? and decrease in good cholesterol. So you need the help of your endocrinologist. So multidisciplinary approach. Ha? Next one, a dietitian, of course, is very, very important to guide you which uh, food you need to eat. 
you know, so you need to be careful to avoid sugar and dairy, mga processed foods, mga white carbohydrates like bread, pasta, cereals, you know, even white rice is, is, is white carbohydrates. So these things can actually cause or exacerbate cause, okay? And sometimes psychology, psychiatrists and psychologists uh, play an important role because PCOS can threaten a woman's identity and self-esteem due to, to the physical changes in their hair, skin, and weight and compromise her well-being if she has or experiencing um, infertility. Okay? There. Yeah. So next one, this is the perioral dermatitis. Like I told you, it's a round of mouth, perioreficial dermatitis. And you will see there's an involvement of the nasolabial folds. No? So sometimes it can have pus and sometimes it can have vesicles or mean fluid field. But most of the time, I notice para lang siya mga bumps, no? red bumps around the mouth. <clears throat> Next one. So usually if you would have involvement of your nose and your eyes, uh, this is how it would look like. So they are red micro papules, yung sabi maliliit na mga bumps and micro vesicles or maliliit na bumps sa may tubig sa loob. Okay? And next one, so usually, like I told you, it's a variant of rosacea. Some say it's a variant of rosacea and it can be aggravated by glucocorticoids and this is the arachnid I told you, the demodex folliculorum. This is how it looks like, right? So if you catch that, and look at it in the microscope, it looks like that. No? And uh, their artificial dermatitis can be exacerbated by other halogens like fluoride, chloride, like if you swim in a swimming pool, iodine, like your betadine mouthwash, no? that can also exacerbate their artificial dermatitis. Okay, next one. So, yeah, that's how it usually starts. Very, very tiny uh, bumps. And then, una, una parang red lang siya. And then, bigla lang lang siyang dadami like that. No? And then, next one. So, if it develops more, it kind of becomes confluent or they clump up together. And you would see uh, it involves the nasolabial folds. And it involves the area around the nose and around the mouth. And on the sides, you would see mga satellite bumps, di ba? Parang may mga, lo- like, when you go sa border area, parang may mga lone rangers na mga, mga stray na mga, na mga bumps. So, this is a clue. And at the same time, when you look around the lips, there is a very, very thin area of spared skin. So, just use your imagination. So that's a clue also that it's very artificial dermatitis. Kasi, like, there's a thin layer of, or a thin area of skin that is uninvolved. Okay? So there. Next. So it can also involve the eyes, but I see that very unusually. Next one. Sometimes patients would treat with like steroids, hydrocortisone, mga ganun, desonine. Sometimes they would use high, high potency corticosteroids like clobetasol, halobetasol, uh, like mga betametasone, dipropionate. But topical steroids will exacerbate their artificial dermatitis and it can lead to steroid acne. So you need to be very, very careful. If you are unsure of what you have on your face, you know, you, you need to contact your uh, board-certified dermatologist or things can really get ugly very fast. Okay? Next one. So, in my experience, I, I if a patient has perioreficial dermatitis, I give them oral doxycycline. It's an anti-inflammatory we use this we use this as an anti-inflammatory rather than an antibiotic and it's very very effective no? so there yeah. so that's it thank you so much if you have any questions i will be very much happy to answer them for you <laughs> ako madami yung question <laughs> okay <laughs> Ay, tanong natin muna sa mga iba rin, may dami silang question. Pero ang question ko, Doc, hindi talaga ano, you cannot just 
randomly put stuff on your skin, right? Like, because yeah. I noticed that, like, you know that, um, the but you're in TikTok. I'm sure you're 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 one of the TikTok. And then you you were you mentioned before that you're a TikTok influencer then for for Philippines, no? Um, wow. And then there are a lot of people. Please huh? follow me on TikTok. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, follow me on TikTok for free tips. <laughs> Ayan mo, ito, tama yung, ito yung exactly question is this exactly one, no? With the rise of influencers, YouTubers, but this care, they advise us as an expert, so what's the best skin advice to those who want to stay, start, to start their skin journey? People who are already starting but losing hope, but they don't, they're not achieving their goals. Um, well. Oh, wow. Ang dami na ito, ah. Ang dami, ano, ang dami, ah. Ang dami, ah. Ang dami, ah. Ang dami, ah. Angles the question, but it's very, very insightful question. Number one, um, there are a lot of information out there, like about skincare, like anything, you know. Um, you need to to choose which ones to follow or which ones to believe, etc. But I, there are also like influencers that are doctors, um, who are board certified dermatologists, um, who talk about skincare, and I will suggest you guys to like listen to them. Or follow them, but sometimes um, doctor from from doctor to doctor, because it will vary, because sometimes uh, their suggestions would pertain to their kind of patients. Like for example, ako, I focus on East Asian or Filipino patients. Okay, so that my advice is very different. Uh, some some of my advice are really just from experience also, because that's what my patient teach me. Because I'm very observant sa mga pasyente ko. Like, if, if I use this product, if we test out this product, or if the patient tells me that this is the reaction, it's not working too much, or this is working this is working very well. So I'm very, I'm very insightful. Like, it's a very insightful thing to have that uh, in your practice. No? So sometimes, like, may mga... Kasi may maraming active ngayon ng mga foreign din na mga dermatologists, right? or mga skin influencers. So sometimes, yun, we need to choose kasi baka mamaya hindi naman hindi naman para sa balat natin yun. Although we cannot like punish them for that because that is their experience and that's uh, that's what they know according to their experience. So, um, I think uh, and I've seen a lot of non-doctors also na mga skin influencers na are very, very good because they really do their research, they talk to their dermatologists about their contents, they collaborate with board certified dermatologists about their content, and that's very good, right? Um, so you just need to choose really um, kung sino yung sino yung follow mo or your, sino yung papakinggan mo. And number two, um, skincare is really a journey. Hiyang-hiyang lang din yan, right? So you need to find Pag, pag hindi ka talaga sure, just check with your board certified dermatologist and just make sure um, he or she understands your concerns and tells you what kind of skin type you have and thoroughly explains to you uh, for your skin type, ito yung mas maganda. Kasi, you know, kasi, like I told you, Filipino skin is very, very different. Like, siguro kasi ang dami na nating like halo-halo na yung genes natin. Like, sometimes it really behaves very differently compared to what the books say, no? Hmm. And I agree to that because some patients of mine na maitim and then I give them something, they don't co- they don't postpose inflammatory hyperpigmentation sometimes. May patients ako na sobrang puti but is prone to post inflammatory hyperpigmentation which in the books you would see na pag lighter ang skin phototype ng pasyente, hindi siya mas prone sa PIH. Parang wala siyang hard and fast rule when it comes to Filipino skin. So for me, I think um, patience, patience is king. So if, like, a lot of patients just give me a lot of very good insight and, I, and that's what I pour into the skin care that I develop and that's what I pour into my content and that's what I pour into also my management and how I approach, I approach my patients. Very individualized, siya, no? <clears throat> However, <clears throat> if you want to start something, start with a mild wash. Because you really need to wash your face. Um, 
because you need to take out the debris, the sebum on your sa face mo. Because if you have like uh, hindi mo nililinis ang yung face mo, and then you have a lot of oil, of course that can clog the pores and get rid of your acne if you're acne prone, right? <coughs> So, mild wash. If you're not sure if your skin is dry, if you uh, wash your skin, that will be more friendly for your skin. Kasi a mild wash won't irritate or won't kick or will not make your skin so dry. Okay? But the first thing that you need to understand is your skin type. So, there's like six kind of skin types. And there are like multiple permutations like for example for example there's dry skin type you have uh, you have the dry skin type you have moist or moisturized the skin type you have wrinkled non pigmented pigmented also you have a uh, sensitive and non-sensitive skin type okay so marami siyang permutations you need and uh there's a uh your doctor usually has like a questionnaire for you. Like, para malaman natin kung ano talaga yung skin type mo. Okay? And then based on the skin type, yun yung gagamitin mo na mask. Bibigay sa'yo yung mga i-recommend na skin care. But it doesn't end there. It doesn't end there. Like I told you, it's a journey. Because your skin type can change based on the place that where you are. Like, for example, I'm really oily in the Philippines, but when I get to Canada in temperate areas, mga cold areas, my skin just really dries up. It really dries up. So, I change yung, yung, yung skin type ko depending on the weather, the circumstances of my environment. So, you need to also uh, be careful and be mindful of that, no? But a uh, very good starting point is to know your skin type. And then everything will follow. And then, yeah, like be, mi- be mindful of how your skin reacts and tell your, your, your dermatologist about it. Like, doc, I think the skincare is too um, stingy for me. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so we change it to something na hindi masyadong stingy. Okay? So it's always like that. No? Parang, doc, may, may recommend ba kayo na... na na better. Kasi, sometimes kasi sa like, when you're watching something, it's just one-sided. You can't really react. Well, good if the patient, or good if the the influencer responds to you. That's very good. But sometimes, or most of the times, kasi it's just the influencer telling you. It's not like an interactive thing. And it's not like something that you are in a journey with someone. Like, it's very different if you can ask somebody like, uh, like for me, like you can ask me like, Doc, is this okay? Or send me a photo, Doc, are the ingredients okay for me? Ganyan, ganyan. So, so that's why I think very special than yung what we have right now because, you know, you can send me, like like in our platform, you can send me the ingredients or, Doc, ang may nangyari sa akin, like ganito. So like, ganun, you can, you can do that, you know? I- yeah, 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 actually, gusto ko mag-segue doon. Yun ang maganda kay Doc Mike. I mean, I, I, that's the reason why I, we wanted him in the, on the live stream because exactly like he said, you can easily get in touch with him and ask questions. Like, uh, usually I message him either in Instagram or in Facebook um, and he answers naman. Although, alam ko busy si Doc, so he will not answer kagad-kagad but he will still answer within, you know, <laughs> the day or pahabukas but still, he answers the question you, you have. Um, so yeah, I think kasi nga doc yung sinasabi, yung yung gusto ko tanong din sa'yo kasi sometimes nakikita mo rin like madami kasing na, I think it's part of their job as influencer, di ba? Parang that's how they make money rin as well, na they get, they sponsor, they get sponsored, so they have to talk about it in a, on a positive light. Um, but usually, usually, um, I think yung natutunan ko sa'yo is that it's a skin, it's a journey, you, na, you never get it right on the first round. Like you will never get it right on the second round, kagad. It's like uh, you test and test and test until eventually you get it um, like uh, right. Like I, for example, I never uh, I tried um, one. Well, shape segue yon. Kasi proud ako dito sa Azelaine soap. <laughs> so the Azelaine soap hey, talaga was but really my favorite. I think that's the one that I would really really recommend to anyone <laughs> because it's actually very very helpful. And back so kuning nga ngayon atas idalin dito para pakita sa anila. Wait, idalin ako ni ko nga. <laughs> Yay. 
So Adelaine is a very good soul, I think. Uh, so I designed them for patients who have no time actually to do a lot of skincare and have problems with acne or oiliness. So, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This one. This is the one that I use. <laughs> you know, this is the one that I use. Um, and this is really, really, um, super, super, really helpful. I mean, if you guys don't, you haven't tried it you should really truly try it uh it's like tabi ko kasi doc before kasi i was telling him i was telling him the the other times like yata niya sa anong ginagamit mo na sabon <laughs> tapos um sabi ko sa kanya sa ex niya ah doc ginamit ko sa safeguard <laughs> kasi sabi niya Huwag ka gumamit ng safeguard huwag <laughs> gumamit ng safeguard <laughs> sabi ko kasi I go, uh, as de, pero sa ay kasi, when I used the safeguard, I had, um, I developed uh, um, rashes, and uh, it wasn't really good for my underarm. <laughs> That's what I noticed now. So, I don't even know what I'm This is worth it. So, I really, really, really like it. Anyway, I just went to the post. It's sponsored post, but I'm really proud of this. <laughs> oh, I'm really proud of that. So, so yun. Yeah. Oh, naman dok. Huh? Oh, naman dok. I really like it. Wait, palitin yeah, mo na, um, palitin mo na yung mukha ako si Doc, dapat ang bida. <laughs> so yun, you can start with that. You can start with the Azeline. So if you like to try it, I mean, and then, you know, tell me if it does something to you like that. So I see. Also, it's a, it's a very good, uh, it's a very good thing that we have a good feedback mechanism. Like, you can just message us, like, oh, Doc, I noticed that ito yung nangyari or whatever. So yun, that's also, the benefit kasi hindi lang kami skincare we have a whole system really to address if ever you got pro- you had a problem with the skincare whatever so there's a team that really take care of you or address your problem so like that so there ayun sino ba may tanong kasi sabi kasi si si Hello, if you have si ano si if, this is actually one of your big fans si mb hi <laughs> Pwede daw mag-shout out daw kay ano, Jessica. Sa kanya. Jessica. Oh, Jessica. Hi Jessica, your... how are you? <laughs> birthday daw niya. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy so, birthday yeah. to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> so, I mean, doc, doc, okay. So, in 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 you have to be like in other words, you have to be very prudent in listening to influencers as well, no? So, you just can't just randomly follow uh I can't ito na, ito na mga fan. Ito na mga fan niyo, doc. Pwede mo mag-buy ng... Ay, ay. Yeah, sensitive skin type, Jess. Actually, it's really for sensitive skin. So, it's a synthetic detergent. Um, it's not like other... De- it's it's not like your usual soap. It is very mild. As long as, you know, you wash your face very gently and you just wash your face for 20 seconds. Don't go beyond that. When you wash your face, dapat like a baby talaga like that very very gentle lang like a baby so like may sa- may sample pa talaga <laughs> 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 kasi baka mamaya hindi like like, <laughs> like lang talaga super uh, tapos may nagtanong doc um where to buy the azelin so any link so we can send uh, the link later um we can send the link it's uh, Dave, you can send the link to DMD skin sciences tama no DMD skin yeah, sciences i mean it's just the you can I know www.dmdskinsciences.com So, lalagay ni Dave yan sa banner so you can actually check out there. Mm-hmm. Or, saka, or sa chat, sa chat na lang. Okay. Um, si MB asked another question. How to choose the right sunscreen? Meron akong bang ano dyan ulit! Ito na nga! Uh-huh. <laughs> Ito yung ginagamit ko. Kasi super proud ako talaga dito. <laughs> super nice. Yeah. Oh, super okay. ganda talaga. Like super, super <laughs> ganda. The, the, this is the Prisoderm sunscreen, the tinted one. So this is really, yeah. really, really, really nice. I mean, just use a little of this. It goes a long, long way. <laughs> uh, my male patients also like that. Kasi, alam mo, kasi, I, 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 I never really wear sunscreen talaga before. Like, kasi, an, I, alam mo yun, so, sobrang oily siya sa face. And sometimes feeling ko yung face ko parang... Pwede, na, maglu- pwede, 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 na, magluto ng, pwede na magluto ng itlog. Yeah, parang sobrang. super haggard niya. Like, after a 
colors. Kaya hindi ako nag-gumagamit ng sunscreen talaga before. So, but, but you know, be, nung nag-derma ako, like, oh gosh, kailangan natin ng sunscreen. Kasi, number one, if you are really looking for something that's anti-aging, any anti-aging regimen should include sunscreen talaga. It must be included in a, in, in, in a regimen. So, sabi ko siya, paano to? Ay, ayoko ng mga sunscreen na hahanap ko. But, it started with Tizo actually. It started with Tizo kasi physical, ano siya, physical, ano siya, physical sunscreen kasi si Tizo. Thank you. Ito. So it's really yeah. this. This is actually my first sunscreen. It's a US brand. So it's a physical sunscreen. It has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. However, Tizo is quite hard and to find and very erratic in stocks. Yeah. So what happened was so na ubusan na ako. Thank you lang. So na ubusan ako. So hindi pa din maubusan na ako kasi like Mamamatay ako, di ba? Parang gano'n yung ano, <laughs> sunscreen. <laughs> Kasi sobrang stress talaga ako pag hindi ako nakaka-sunscreen. Like, iba talaga yung pakinamdam. I feel like naked. <laughs> and then I found this. This is from Greece naman. This is from Greece. And it's much more much more moisturizing than than Tizo. Kasi Tizo is a bit a bit dry. But I won't mind if Fresiderm just suddenly disappears. I won't put I won't mind going back to Tizo. It's so nice. And then, and super goop. If you like. Yeah, I, actually, mo- Doc, Doc, I saw that the other time that you were showing the super goop. What's that? I, I thought it was like a toy. Uh, super goop is a, it's an Australian brand. Uh, I think it's an Australian brand. So, meron kasi silang, ano eh, meron kasi silang tinted na sobrang ganda ng texture and I really, really like it. Do you have a sample of Doc? How it looks like? Oh my oh, gosh, super. I don't have. I don't Sige. have because I have okay. residue. <laughs> <laughs> Pero kung wala, I I would buy. Ano? Kaya lang you would notice because these are a bit. These are a bit pricey. Some yep. patients would ask me, Doc, pwede ba kayo magrecommend ng sunscreen na hindi mo siya pricey? Mahal. There's a there's a problem with that. Because if I recommend this bit. Oh, no problem. I can name a lot. Like I can name a lot of sunscreen for you. However, I will be giving you something that can cause a problem with your skin. So I do not recommend it. Right? So, yeah. like for example, chemical sunscreen because it can cause. No. So there's two kinds of sunscreens. You have chemical. You have physical sunscreens. Chemical sunscreens would migrate to your hair follicles after four to six hours of application. So even they say non comedogenic imagine if the small particles all migrate to your hair follicles, eventually it still clog your pores. And they have UV filters like oxybenzone, abobenzone, other UV filters that can cause allergic contact dermatitis. And if you're genetically sensitive to one of them, your face can actually darken more. Oh. And you don't have those issues with physical sunscreen. So, walang Doc! Sige. Yeah. Hey, doc, yung ano, yung, yung, yung mga sunscreen, yung mga sunscreen na, paano naman yung for the, for the other part of the body? Kasi hindi naman pwede pag ganito for the other part of the body, di ba? Yeah. Or for, pwede... for the other parts body. Medyo na, ano yung ating... Uh... Kasi, uh, you can use a chemical sunscreen for that, no issues. However, for the face lang, for me, I just like these things. Kasi for me, I think, kasi pag sa body naman nagkaroon ka ng allergic contact dermatitis, okay, just like pahid, clopetasol, or whatever, like anti-inflammatory, okay? But for the face, if it's there, oh, it's really obvious and you can really see it and then it can cause post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So, and then if my PAH ka sa face mo, ah, ano yan? Ano nangyari sa face mo? Jai, di ba? <laughs> Tapos i-conceal mo pa siya, i-conceal oh, mo pa siya, so nakaka-stress. Ito Doc, may so, isa pang question. Ganun lang niya. How about moisturizer? How to choose the right moisturizer? So entry levels, you can start with Cetaphil, you can start with CeraVe, Inky List. You know, those are cheaper ones but are very, very good in my opinion. Uh, moisturizers, however, if you 
I will suggest you to use it if your skin is dry. Some patients have combination skin type. Some patients would have um, acne or oily areas, no? and some dry areas also in other parts of their face. So for those kind of patients, I would just tell them, put moisturizers in areas that you are dry lab. So how do you know that your skin is dry? So your skin is dry is um, if number one, it's flaky, it's chafe, it's like my, my, my flaking. Number two, if it's cracking, if it's tight, it, if it feels tight, if it's dull, kung dull siya, yung, com- yung complexion mo over that area. And sometimes very prone to like mga rashes, like parati ka nangangati doon sa area na yun. Some, pa- some patients would confuse scaling and redness with dryness, especially around the eyebrows, around the nose, right? Sometimes here, just beneath the scalp. Sometimes they will confuse that with dryness and end up using moisturizer, but that could be seborrheic dermatitis. If you have sebderm, I will not suggest using moisturizers because sebderm can flare up with the oil from the moisturizer because it it's caused by pitoros from ovale it's a kind of fungus uh, fungus so so yun i don't suggest that so it's best that you ask your dermatologist doc dry po ako then i will ask you how why do you say your skin is dry can you just tell me so yeah dyan ko malalaman kung totoo ba na dry talaga yung skin mo so if dry yung skin mo if it's really dry i'll give you a moisturizer so for me, for example. Pero di ba, Doc, napansin ko lang, I think in Asians, in Asians, napansin ko that there were more oily, I mean, the Filipinas yeah, have we're more oily. Oil, oily skin rather than dry. Kasi, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know, like, in general, generally, that I notice is that hindi masyadong, wala pa masyadong nakilala na masyadong dry yung skin na Pinoy. Madalas, madalas, madalas oily yung oily yung skin. Marami, parang. Oo. Oh. Tapos, I think I remember, sabi mo rin sa... Mga atopic dermatitis. Oo. Nakwento, rin, nakwento mo rin sa akin, Doc, before yung, um, let's say, during the time na sabi natin nagiging oily yung skin, di ba, usually dapat mag-wash. Kasi yung mga parang noon time yan. Kaya maganda mag-wash talaga ng, uh, like, you can use um, Azelaine. Yeah, that's the wash. purpose of Azelaine, actually. Like, especially, I, I made it for patients na wala masyadong time. Like, if magwa-wash lang sila once a day, paano nila gagawin? Kasi may mga tamad talaga eh, na mga patients na ayaw talaga mag skincare. So, Sabi ko, what's the best way? So, yun. That's why I did, I developed the the Azelaine. Uh, it's really just to control acne and sebum. And, you know, the most optimal time for us to actually regulate it is early afternoon or noon time because that's the time when our sebum secretion is really at its peak. Oh, it doc, may kano ako. So, what what if you use what if you use the no? So you have to apply. Let's say you have to use the sunscreen. If you panag wash ka na with azelaine, di mawawala yung sunscreen mo. Magalagay yeah, ko alin? They have yeah. to reapply it talaga. They would have to reapply. Kung lalabas ka, but, kahit hindi ka lalabas sa bahay. Yes, you need to put sunscreen because I use the sunscreen as an anti-inflammatory. Remember, I told ah, you it has titanium dioxide. Tama, so tama. it's not, I, I just don't use it as to protect you from the sun. It's a very good anti-inflammatory also because your other skin care are inherently irritating. Even vitamin C is irritating because it has low pH, like 3.5, medyo acidic siya. So, and your retinoids sa gabi, yung mga nilalagay mo sa gabi. Your retinoids, so, ko rin yan! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes, Mission that's, skin! That's, uh, retinoids are the gold standard for anti-acne and anti, anti-aging. Um, so they're the best. They're still the best. Like, if something comes out for acne and anti-aging, it gets tested against your retinoids. So as of now, they're still the most effective. So nag-hype lang kasi yung mga ibang niacinamide, mga ganun, bakuchol, mga ganun. But, Still, retinoids are the most effective. So oh, you, I, doc, I, you, you were mentioning, Karina, you were mentioning niacinamide. I keep on seeing that everywhere, like niacinamide. Yeah. Well, ni- niacinamide is like a acute, acute skin care. Is it the, I mean, is it the same? It's not is it the same as the? Uh, is it the same as the retinoids? 
No, it's not a, the same as retinol. It's a vitamin B. It's a tarana. It's vitamin B3. So what it really does, it lightens your skin. It's also an anti-inflammatory, but it also repairs your skin barrier. Oh. So it's very good for patients who have really dry skin. However, if you're looking for something that's really more potent, I'm not a fan of niacinamide because there are other actives out there that are more potent, in my opinion, that you get your money's worth for. So, you know, um, I just give it to somebody who li- wants to lighten their skin, very sensitive skin, and wants to lighten their skin. At the same time, I give it also as... Um, a topical for patients who have very dry skin because patients who have very dry skin sira yung skin barrier nila kaya nag-escape mabilis yung mga water sa sa cells ng skin nila we call that trans epidermal water loss so just going back to the sunscreen pala so i use the sunscreen as an anti-inflammatory so even though you're not going outside you still need to use it because you need an anti-inflammatory in your face sa, sa, sa skin care mo. Not unless you want to use steroids. So, mm-hmm. it's better that you use sunscreen na lang. And also, you have indoor sources kasi of UV radiation or radiation. Like the fluorescent light is UVA. Your laptops, diba? they are sources of uh, blue, light, blue light radiation. And there are studies suggesting that in in pigmented skin can cause actually um, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. They can penetrate deeper and destroy your collagen and elastin. Uh, infrared can cause also like heat. So you need talaga protection. Even though you're inside, you need to protect yourself. Is there any like, uh, any doc you recommended mo for nighttime naman? Like uh, usually, diba, like the best time to actually apply skincare is usually pag gabi. When you're actually going to sleep, na o oh, tama ba? Uh, or uh, for me, it's eight. Like best time, naman to put talaga. Iba tal, iba yung AM, it iba din yung PM. But for PM, naman, uh, you just use a. I'm very simple. Like just use a, um, uh, just use suns ah uh, sunscreen. Just use a mild uh, facial wash, and then after that, just retinol. That's it. You so yung ano yung mga y- Oh, so yung mga nang ginagawa ng mga Korean na skincare na 10 step na pa complicated. You can reduce yeah. that to just two steps na lang. Alam mo kasi the Koreans, they have resistant skin type. So, uh, just imagine they have a microscopic great wall of china on their skin. That they hindi masyado nakaka-penetrate yung topicals. That's why they they, oh. they need to put more, they need to like push more, scrub in like push their everything. That's why they put a lot of layers because technically, it's very hard for their skin to absorb topicals. Filipinos are different. We don't have a great wall of China skin barrier. I, we have like, I like that. I like that. Great, great wall of China skin care. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, in the Philippines, hindi like ano tayo like yung skin barrier natin hindi siya masyadong resistant more of sensitive tayo mas nakaka break in agad yung mga it's beneficial in a way na mas lesser ilalagay natin sa face natin and mas makaka-absorb siya better but yun so, lang mas prone tayo to acne mas prone tayo to irritation and contact dermatitis so you're saying so you're saying that we have a better chance of having better skin with just like those simple steps yes. if we follow i mean compared to the compared to koreans yes um me i just use yeah nagwawash lang ako ng face number two i use the after washing my face i just use the acne regulin spray Ay, wait, dala ko rin yan. Dala ko rin yan. <laughs> ako, ako endorser mo, Doc, ngayon. <laughs> After that, sunscreen. Diba? Just three in the morning. In the evening, yeah, 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 wash face, yeah. retinol. That's it. Yeah, yeah. That's what that's I do the, for my face. That, that's exactly what I do as well. <laughs> so, kahabuli yung skin ni Doc. <laughs> yeah. So, yun lang. Kasi, it's, for the skin, kasi, it's just, it's, it's just about looking for the most potent. And it's just using the best um, skin care for the indication that you're looking for. If you're looking for anti-aging, anti-acne, you give the patient that one. And by pinaka the best. 
Yes. Kasi marami kasi function ang mga skincare, right? Like oh, it will act on the the enzyme that regulates uh that regulates tyrosinase or whatever, like oh this will do that, this will do that. that. So pag isipin mo, oh, oh nga no, pag nilagay ko si functions ng mga nilagay ko na. So kailangan damihan ko din para mas exponential yung mangyari sa face ko. Actually hindi. Kasi the more you put on your face, you increase your chances of contact dermatitis and inflammation. So, pag nag-inflame ang skin mo, it it will make you more at risk for acne and a lot of skin problems. So, for me, I think just choose one na sobrang potent. Yun ang gamitin mo. And then, know what you're looking for. For example, if you're looking for skin lightening, if you're looking for anti-acne, ano ba yung best dyan? Ano ba yung pinaka-best skin care for that one? Ano ba yung gold standard for that one? Sa inyo, sa inyo yung gagawin mo. Doon mo, hindi lang yung gagamitin mo. Huwag ka nang gumamit ng sobrang dami kasi hindi ganun yung skin. And if you combine stuff in your skin, remember, may tinatawag, tata- may tinatawag tayo na stability test. So the stability test, before you release a product, you need to make sure that it's really stable. Kung ano yung mga minix mong product, kailangan stable yon And you need to make sure that they are still functioning. Uh, yung mechanism of action nila is intact. Even though minix mo sila with stuff. Now, if you put stuff on your face, you don't know how they will interact with each other. Like for example, niacinamide and vitamin C. Niacinamide is basic, mataas ang pH na. Vitamin C is acidic, 3.5. Okay? 3.5 yung pH niya. It only functions very well when its pH is 3.5. The moment you increase it to just even like point something, it it will become it will become deactivated or hindi siya magiging potent. Right? So, pag nilagay mo siya together, wala. Sayang lang naglagay ka pa ng ano, bumili ka pa ng vitamin C. Hindi mo naman... Ito nga, tama-tama. Tama-tama, Dok. May nagtanong. Okay lang, kabi ni M, nila, ni MB, ni May, okay lang ba maglagay ng vitamin C? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a fan of vitamin C because it's a, a very iffy product. Like, maarte siya. Like, ayaw niya ng mga may kasama. If you want to use oh. vitamin C for skin lightening, antioxidant, then you need to use it by itself. Either in the morning or evening. But in my opinion, there are better, better. antioxidant and better um, skin lightening agents out there. For me, the best antioxidant is still the retinoids, the vitamin A's. They are the best antioxidants in my opinion. And they can also help with skin lightening. Yes, that one. So they also can help with skin lightening because they prevent Uh, because they promote melanin dispersal. So, yun. Pag nagka-clump kasi ang melanin, mas kita siya. Pero pag nagdi-disperse siya, like sand, mas less visible siya. Tuling! Grabe, ang dami ko na tutunan. Ang dami ko na tutunan. <laughs> Ay, you know, you know, you know, what, you know, Doc, then, then, you know, Doc, the one that I really like the most, uh, that you said, is that, kasi we, Uh, this is my personal opinion lang, no? We always compare uh, our... We try to look at other countries or other races because of like, yeah, what we see in TV, like K-dramas, they have really beautiful skin, they have all these... Um, and it's very hyped yeah. in, 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 the, in the, let's say, the uh, K-pop industry as well. So we are, we're very much fans of that. And we assume that dahil maganda skin nila, nagagawa nila yun, dapat ganun rin yung gagawin natin. And what you said kanina, yung a great wall of China sa skincare. <laughs> Doon ako nagulat na iba rin pala talaga, yung iba talaga dapat yung trato natin sa yeah. skin. And so like, I really like the, you know, what I really like about you do is that you put the science into it. Like mm-hmm. that there's a scientific ah. reason behind it, which is not really based on um, the because of what people say or what people see on TV. And that because of, like you don't even have to do the 10 step Korean skin, you just have to do this two steps lang, which is, Cheaper pa in the long run. <laughs> ah, cheaper pa. Oh. Sustainable pa. Sustainable pa, correct. Sustainable pa siya. Yeah. I really like that. I really like that. 
I really like it. And that is what I, that's why I really want to help out people like in the, especially in the experience Philippines community that they really look at it at the point of, you know, how to have achieved that good skin that's really meant for them. That's there that's that that's not based on what they see on TV or what they see with other people. Sorry. So there. At saka hindi ka pa magko-contribute sa sa waste, 'di ba? Kasi pag ang dami-dami mong ginagamit, ang dami ng shape, ang daming packaging noon, ang daming bottles noon na matatapon. 'Di ba? So there. Nakakatuwa. Ang sinakatuwa talaga do. Ang dami ko nito to yan. This is, this is, uh, <laughs> parang ako yata yung, ako, ako yata yung, ako yata yung uh, more naka-benefit sa kwentuhan na tara. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> naman. <laughs> <laughs> so yun do, um, isa yung ano, like, uh, I would, I would, uh, this is, this is really, uh, the reason why we wanted to get uh, Doc Mike also, because he does, he has a company called DMB Skin Sciences, and I think that's all, um, I mean, the approach that I look at, because the reason why I wanted to share this to the experienced Philippines community is that, you know, as Filipinos, we can actually we have a different skin type. I mean, we have a we we can actually be proud of also our own skin, and we can improve that. And I think the science behind it. So that's why I really wanted Doc to talk and to share his experience because I think it's the best way to to you know to to get a very a more scientific and very technical and you could say technical advice. Rather than just following randomly what we see on TikTok or Instagram, because <laughs> rin di naman mas di mo naman masasabi rin what their skin type is. Hindi eh. mo masasabi na wait, pano kami ng skin type? <laughs> correct, correct. So yeah, you guys, if you have, if you guys want to ask um, Doc Mike more questions, if you want to reach out to him, he's very. Yet, ito yung maganda kay Doc. He's very much present in social media. <laughs> so it's like very. Very very active yan sa very very active yan sa Instagram. He does Instagram live. Um, very active yan sa TikTok. In fact, he just recently reaches one one million views, no doc? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> TikTok influencer yan, ang Philippines. Alam mo na katawa, kasi like for example, if I do like a regular video sa TikTok. Para, uh, para wala masyadong views pero when I do the like yun, when I teach about the skin sobrang sobrang interactive ng mga ano. so sabi ko okay hindi na ako mag ano hindi na ako mag sasalita sasayaw hindi <laughs> ka na lang sasayaw <laughs> na lang kasi pag nagsasabi ako thank you yung mga ganun ganun parang wala parang walang interaction sige sabi ko okay I'll just do, keep on doing this na lang <laughs> I won't talk na lang <laughs> Ayun, I think maganda rin, maganda rin kasi nga, I think it's a uh, relevant especially in our times days. If you're able to communicate it in the in the medium that people are actually more present where they are. So if they're present in TikTok, if they're present in Instagram or in Facebook, then at least we can educate them properly and uh, give them a much more um, you know, give them a, a, an alternative rather than just watching influencers or going through all these um, you know, we don't even know at least here Yan, ako pra- hindi, hindi ko talaga again, proud lang talaga ako <laughs> kasi I used to have a huge acne here, <laughs> like one acne that never went away. <laughs> Because of dahil sa dahil lang sa Azelaine na yan at saka dahil lang dito. <laughs> ano wala. <laughs> Chaos retinoids. I think I really like this one. So these are the three things I also use. So I really, I'm not saying that I have perfect skin like compared to Doc, but I'm really proud of the the products that Doc has. Actually, and really, if you use it regularly, it's going to restructure your skin. Like it's, I think it's very important also because you guys really travel a lot, diba? I mean the sun exposure is like a real constant thing yeah. in your life. I mean it makes you happy. I mean I understand that, but then you need some help, talaga. Like if you really want to just repair the damage that's caused by the sun, you need a very nice or a, a proper skincare. So yeah. yeah. Actually, ever since I started using this, that's like I never went back to any normal soap anymore. This is the word I really uh, use. Even I use it for the body. This I use for the body, na rin. Parang this is not just for the face anymore. Pwede, to be honest. Pwede. 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 So guys, thank you so much everyone for joining in and I'm inviting you to DMD Skin Sciences. So 
right now we have like an online clinic so if you have a problem with your skin just drop us a message or you can actually um access our online consults on website www.dmdskinsciences.com so there's really just like a procedure there and then you can just click 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 and then i'll see you ganun lang siya like And then somebody will assist you if you're confused about the process. Somebody will get in touch with you. Uh, like anything you need about your skin. Uh, love life, Doc. Skin. Love life. Pwede pa love life sa so DMD Skin Sciences. Uh, siguro side effect na yun ng skin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. So the skin community, kasi yung community talaga, yung, uh, you know what? Hindi yun talaga ang objective natin, namin uh, talaga, to build a skin community. Um, Well, kasi yun yung core core ano namin, core values naman. Number one is innovation, authenticity, and community. So I re- when we were starting, I didn't really know how to build a community like out of DMD. But you know, just spontaneously, just spontaneously, the the patients add themselves. Eh. Like they group themselves. Like, to a point na parang nag-grow na sila sa community and the team, like the DMD Skin Sciences team, we do not, it's independent, it's autonomous from DMD Skin Sciences. Like, I don't know how it happened, but, yun, nalalaman ko na lang do kasi may DMD group, ganito, ganyan, ganyan, uh, pinag-discuss namin and then pag may mga bago, ginagayad po namin sila. Sige, <laughs> so, parang, Yay. Doc, sige, punta ka doon, add kita. Sabi ko, no, I mean, that's, ano, that's your community, that's your yeah. group. It's the DMD skin community. As much as possible, let's keep the authenticity and uh, we are just here. And kayo, as a community, you know, you can do whatever you want and whatever you want to discuss without even thinking that we are there. Kayong bahala if you want to, if you want to send, like, mga feedback, constructive feedback about whatever pag-usapan nyo. I mean that's a space that's a space that you build and we're really proud of that. So yung nakakatuwa talaga. Uh, actually okay nga yun. Kami rin sa experience Philippines at tayo na rin ako niyan. Ha? <laughs> Meron na rin diyan sa experience Philippines ko. Diba? Yeah. So, super nice. Oh kasi nga may mga fans club ka talaga sa mga road trippers rin doc. Hello, <laughs> talaga ba? Oh, oh may, diba? ma- may mga hardcore fans ka talaga na Um, nalaman nila na kahit kakilala ka ito pag sila nalaman kailala oh ka rin. <laughs> celebrity ka, Doc. Celebrity. Celebrity wow. sa mga tao na ito. Na Pero ang ganda na skin, si, si May, si MB, ang ganda na skin niya ngayon because she started using the... Your, si May? Si May, oh, si MB. She started using her, ah, um, this one and it's really, really good. And kinakita ko nga sa'yo, one of, my, one of our road trippers um, got your products uh, and now it's actually in Spain. So, hola, hola. Uh, <laughs> so she's very happy with that because sabi niya parang um, she doesn't like, I don't think kasi nga they don't they have a different skincare in in Spain and then it's oh. different from her skin type as well. You know what? I tell you something. Most of the high-end skincare in dermatology that that we use here in the Philippines is from Barcelona. Really? Wow. Yes. Kaya yeah, sabi ko, oh, hanapin pa to kasi dyan yung ginagawa. Pero yung <laughs> hanap, super weird. Talaga. Baka mahirap talaga hanapin. Baka na-hoard na or something. Baka may nag-go. Siguro, siguro, siguro. But Very yeah, good. I mean, they have really, really good skincare in Barcelona. Because if you're there, multiracial din ang Barcelona eh. Multiracial din siya. So, I will, I'm guessing na pa, oh, baka well, I was in... yung skin. Uh, no, when I was in Barcelona, it's like, hmm, hindi naman ganun masyadong, parang iba yung skin. Ayaw ko kasi because they experience the seasons or maybe the yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Yun like, it's, it's quite cold there also. No, so, like when I was living in New Zealand, uh, I didn't have, nev- I've never experienced any acne or pimple breakout at all. Because nga the weather South is... South or north? North. I was staying in the north. North Ay, Island. Ay, urban. So, Uh, so wala mo siyang walang ano walang 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 ano doon, wala. global warming doon dapat oh may butas ka nandun kasi <laughs> nandun kasi yung butas ng ano nandun ozone layer 
Bawal ka dun mga bawal ka dun na walang uh, bawal ka dun na walang um, sunscreen. sunscreen kasi nga it's diretso yung UV ray kagad eh sa iyo kasi nakasunog talaga siya like if you sh- if you go out of the it's during the summer which is like December um, it's really painfully hot like seriously like nakakaluto kami ng barbecue na literally na walang walang init like the the sun is the the metal plate just Basically, umiinit na siya mag-isa. So, sobrang init. Have you so, been to yeah. the South? Maganda yung South. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was in the South. I, South uh, Island. Uh, Christchurch. Yeah. Maganda naman talaga. Maganda talaga. Maganda talaga. <laughs> the best time to go there is in the South is during the, during the summer. Which is probably December to December, January, February. It's the summer time. Yeah. Best time to go there. So, yun, Doc. Super thanks for for joining us for this. Uh, I know you have a busy also... Sunday. Um, we hope that he can continue to join us <laughs> and we can ask you questions as well. Um, yep. And we're so happy that you're also part of our community, which is you can be our go-to for skincare for travelers. <laughs> Especially when you're so much more excited to get out of your skin. Because you're so excited to get out of your skin every day. <laughs> so, so, Doc, thank um, you so much. You guys have to check out. You can you can check out his Facebook page. Uh, this actually, Doc, may, may Facebook page, kaya diba, Doc Mike? Yeah, the Facebook page. Yeah, Doctor Mike D. You can just search that on Facebook. Ayan, Dave, Dave balagyan natin, Doctor Mike. D. Yeah, you can also search DMB Skin Sciences Instagram. We still, we also have DMB Skin Sciences. Ayun. So, pag may mga questions kayo, you can join our community or ask away kay Doc. We can either way it works, whatever. Especially for skincare for travelers, it's completely like a uh, different meaning because we're more exposed to the sun than usual. But yeah, ah, tapos ah. na. Ito pa din kay skincare ni Doc. Yan. Yeah. Yan. Doc, the doctor might be. And then also pala Gian, other benefits yes, of being in the community. If you're you're a doc, uh, if you are a DMD skin community member, um. Because we have other specialists on board. So if you go, like for example, if you want to have something done on your face, on your body, surgery, whatever, or if you want to do some tests or whatever, um, you just tell them that you are a member of DMD Skin Sciences or DMD Skin Community and they will give you this. Oui, wow, my discount. Perfect. <laughs> yes. So that's another like benefit. Like being in the DMB skin community, it's it's the discounts from procedures from other specialists. I miss that, Doc. Well, no, but discount. Tell me, lah, Doc. Patient, pa ako ni Doc, my D. DMB skin sciences patient, pa ako. Papa, ito kala pa may proof. Papa, ito kala to. Bakit hindi mo niwala sa akin? Ito pa to ko. Kaya hindi pa na makikita nila kasi yung skin mo eh. <laughs> Uy, Dok, nawala talaga. As in, you know, alam mo nawala talaga yun. No? As in, nawala. Pangit na yung ilaw ko talaga. But super, like, I have a really bad lighting here. But uh, but I really am so happy with the, this one and this one. I mean, the one I really enjoy most is this one and this one. Yeah, they're perfect. Those like really perfect. good, like super ah, nice. We're super we're making nice. pala our own sunscreen because it's mahal si Fresiderm, de ba? Oh, mahal. Pero worth it, because hindi naman siya na ubus kagad. Like it doesn't, ma- it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be consumed in like one month unless sobra ka maglagay. Because hindi yeah, naman kailangan sobra maglagay, de ba? So yun. So guys, please, um, if you guys are interested, uh, if you want to take care of your skin, please talk to Doc Mike. Message him. Message us if you want as well. We can connect you to Doc Mike. Doesn't matter. We have a community as well. And expect. I nagiko na ngarin dito. Yeah. Please join our Experience Philippines community as well. So for this coming week, um, moving forward, uh, this coming couple of days, we'll be doing several um themed live tours again. That we're gonna be featuring Palawan. Uh, we're having like a dog dog ambassadors for food for dogs. So yeah, like, madami ka, madami yeah. ano, madam. Dog. Yeah. I, I think Ayala has like a project in El Nido. Like, ah, talaga? Pwede mo kami connect? Pwede yeah, kami connect, no? Tsaka kaila, ano, kaila Angelo. You mentioned before last time. May makeup artist rin. Makeup artist ba yun? Ah, yun nga pala. Sorry, hindi ko talaga. Okay lang yun. Para maana natin. Maganda rin kasi to share in the community rin. Yan. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Thanks, Doc. Before we, so ano, um, wag ka muna mag-log out, Doc, ah. Mag-picture pa tayo. <laughs> Alright. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Bye.